Hello everybody, Shadow here, and welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door! So last time we finished up at the Glitz Pit in Glitzville. It's time to head back to Rogueport to uh, turn in our um, star, our crystal star, that's the word, and, uh, you know, figure out where we're going next. However, I would also like to do some like side stuff while we were we are here in town again. I'm turning down the volume just a tiny bit. There we go. That sounds a little bit better. <clears throat> All right. So our trouble. I need to go talk to Mayor Croup. Oh. Hello, Mario, hear that noise? That's totally an email from Princess Peach. Right, okay. Dearest Mario, I have uncovered something terrible. These things, the x knots they're planning to take control of the world. It's to that end that they're seeking the crystal stars and trying to claim a legendary treasure. I still don't know what that treasure is, but you must hurry and gather the crystal stars. I will gather what information I can. Princess Peach. Oh my. What? They want to rule the world? That does not sound like a friendly plan. Right? <clears throat> okay. Well, I suppose let's go down here. Oh, yeah, actually we can uh, get over there now. Because we have pickle. <laughs> yes. Ta da. All right. So, this is just for a star piece. Yes. Ta da. Wait, if I just fall off, do I get. Nope, I got thrown there. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay, so now I can check that door. I still can't break this block though. It's still a little bit too strong. Oh, what's this? Two. Twilight Town. Um. Oh. The pipe rejected you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can tell when I'm not wanted. <laughs> okay. Hi, bud. You immediately died. <laughs> I should really, um, while I'm going through these sewers, I should really equip that. No, I, I don't have it. I didn't buy it. <laughs> I gotta go buy that and then equip the first attack thing. Cause I didn't listen when the game told me to buy it. Okay. I'm assuming that this X is something different. Let's go, bud. Let's see. Um, this leads down to the pipe room, right? Yes, it does. I just wanted to check if there was anything else this way. Okay, no, we're good. Ready, Pickle? Whoa! Did not mean to do that. I'm so sorry, Pickle. Let's go! Right, I gotta go tw twisty turvy. Twisty turvy? What?
I can also break this one. Aha! Hey! Another star. Uh, another shine sprite. Blah, 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 blah. We have four. Okay, so we can upgrade Pickle. Okay, let's go talk to the mayor. Starting off my recording session with a wonderful, wonderful idea. You know, just absolutely destroy my voice. Hi, bud. You still... Uh, hey, Mario. You're Luigi's older brother, right? That's so cool. I mean, you're cool too and all, but I just think Luigi is the greatest. Okay. Oh, right. I can get this now. Mega Rush P! Nice. Hello, hello! Well, well, Murphy! You must have gotten my request! Good, good! Truth be told, I've been a touch lonely here with no one to talk to. Since you're here, why don't you relax with me for a bit? Indulge an old Koopa! Whew! To tell you the truth, I've gotten, I've got quite a few things to say about kids these days. Their tempers are too short for their own good, for one. Makes me want to give them a good stern finger wagging. <laughs> wagoning? What? Uh, I should probably not do that for the entire conversation. Because it, it will ruin my voice and I will not be able to record for the rest of the day. Uh, while I was shopping at the Toad Bazaar the other day. I was trying to pay and my coin purse was stuck closed and a kid and the kid behind me said, Hey geezer, wanna pay so we can get out of here before the sun goes down? Now I may be a geezer, but sundown was clearly taking longer than I was, clearly. Speaking of sundown, reminds me of dating the missus back before she was the missus. Anyway, had to have her home by sundown, yes sir. Her pa was an absolute maniac. Yep, I'd keep my eyes on the sun and go off to face my, uh, go off the face of my missus. Gentlemanly, eh? Actually, it was sort of awkward, kind of blinding in a painful sort of way. Heh, <laughs> just thinking about it makes me feel awkward. Heh, <laughs> isn't memory grand? But that's not what I was talking about. Now, where was I? Hmm. Oh, that's right, kids today. They know nothing about patience, I tell you. I want to stand up and yell, Hey, you punks, be more patient right now! Speaking of which, I think I proclaimed my love for the missus in a loud voice. Sorry, I had an itch. Yep, she was leaving on a train and I yelled from the platform. Like in a movie. Now, uh, what was it I, that I yelled there? Something about her shell, maybe. Oh, wait, I think I've strayed from my main point again. Or wait, did I? Anyhow, me and the missus were madly in love. Head over shells, I tell you. Uh, no, wait. My point was something about kids today, right? Ah, oh, whatever. Oh, my dear sweet missus, the way you combed my eyebrows. Such tenderness. Huzza? Oh, sorry, I got distracted there. Anyway, you get my point. Sorry you had to listen through all that. Wasn't too boring, though, I'd wager. I'm just happy to get a little FaceTime with the youth of today. Right. Okay, I think we're done, so let's let's switch back. Oops, I forgot to set out the tea. Aren't I an old ninny? My apologies. In fact, I haven't even added the hot water, the hot water part. Awful sorry. Oh, a turtley leaf. Yeah, boy, if you cook a turtley leaf, you can make some amazing tea. Oh, and if you change your mind, you can come back and listen to me yap anytime. Hooray! Well, yeah, back to Rogueport. Um, oh, that's actually one thing that I do know that I need to engage with at some point. I need to, um, th so there is, I believe the, the person we gave the contact lens to, she... I believe is our cook equivalent. Um, like like there is in the first game. And I think you can actually like track the recipes or something. 
I'm not entirely sure. I'm I'm literally just going through here because it's the fast way to the uh, door. Because turning this in will bring us back to town and tell us where to go, so. Alrighty. But yeah, um, we'll, we'll mess with cooking at some point. I promise. <laughs> All right, star number three. Very nice. Okay, okay, okay. So, where are we going now? I have like all sorts of little specks on my monitor. Probably to Twilight Town, huh? <laughs> Definitely seems like it. I was a little early. <laughs> uh, the location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Hooray! Hey, that shows where the fourth crystal star is. Guess we'll have to show this to that Frankly guy. But first we better tell him what Princess Peach's email said, right? True. He probably wants to know about the end of the world. Or, I guess, takeover of the world? Whatever. What? <laughs> the group that kidnapped Princess Peach is bent on total world conquest? Yep. Uh-huh. You got that right. That's why those jerks need that legendary treasure. Huh. This doesn't bode well. This situation has gotten far more serious than I thought. Let me bring you up to speed. I've been researching just what this treasure could be. One book I came across held to what held uh, I came across held to what I thought was a preposterous theory. This book claimed that the treasure was, in actuality, the Great Cataclysm, the very cataclysm that a thousand years ago sank that town underground. Oh my! So these jerks think the power of that cataclysm will help them rule the world? I can't say for sure what they will do or why, but we must consider the possibility. And now that things have come to this, we mustn't let them near the legendary treasure. That's all that matters, because if they do get it, then once again this town, now the entire world could be destroyed. They're not with it, Prof. Oh, we gotta find that next crystal star, super quick. Hmm, according to the map, it appears the next crystal star is in Twilight Town. Twilight Town? To tell you the truth, I don't know much about the place myself, only rumors. I have heard that, as the name implies, it's perpetually dim and eerie there. Wait just a moment. Okay, what you got? Aha! There appears to be a pipe to Twilight Town somewhere here in Rogueport. I've tried to go in it before. I do believe it's somewhere underneath the west part of town. Y yes, definitely. If you get stuck for any reason, just come back and see me again, okay? Hey, Prof! The pipe's a no-go. We went in, but we got pushed right back out. Oh, so that was... Efficiency! Good! What? You can't get through the pipe, you say? How odd! Hmm. I'm afraid I haven't the foggiest idea what you should do. Oh, of course! I've heard that a fellow from Twilight Town lives here in Rogueport. If anybody knows how to get through the pipe, it'll be him. His name was, uh, dang. What was it? Ah, yes, the lover of dark places, Darkly. I've seen him loiter me right here in this part of town in the past. Look for Darkly. Got it. All right, well, I know where he is. Oh, Koopy Koo. Uh, dear Mario and Koops, I hope you two are doing uh, okay. I have to admit, with Koops gone, I haven't been doing very well. I get lonely and I go into Koops' house and I smell that Koops' and I smell that Koops' smell. I guess it's your cologne or whatever, but it makes me so sad. Lately, the place is starting to smell more like your dad, uh, Koopley. He has his own smell and it's weird. I think maybe it's the smell of Hooktail's gut. It's 
Disgusting. Now I grossed myself out. Oh, and since he's gonna... And since he's gonna be my dad, too, someday, I'd better get used to that smell, huh? Oh, what am I writing? I'm so embarrassed. But I'm sending this anyway. <laughs> yeah! Right. Uh, okay. Old Toad settles in. Toadsworth has been spotted in the company of Zesty. The, um. Oh my gosh. Okay. So Toadsworth has a potential, um, love. Sleep a fire flower in hot water and presto. For spicy soup. Cool. Well, I'm gonna grab a trouble while I'm in this neck of the woods. Oh, Jolene wants me. Um, Merle. Uh, the food I want. I have a bad craving for a certain food item. Could you fetch it for me? Please meet me in Petalburg. I suppose. All right, well, let's go talk to Darkly. It was right back here. Hi, bud. Hi there. The name's Darkly. I'm from Twilight Town. Do you guys need something? Well, huh? You can't get through the pipe to Twilight Town? Yep. Well, shucks. It's usually no sweat. You just need to have something that has your name written on it. Don't you have anything that has your name written on it? Come on, everyone does. Nope. No? Really? Okay, hang on. I'll write it for you. What's your name? It's Mario. Mario, huh? Okay. I'll write it here on the seat of your overalls. M-A-R-I-O. Right? Don't forget Pickle! There. Perfect Amundo. While I'm at it, I'll write your partner's name, too. What's your name? Pickle Baby! Pickle Baby. Hey, watch where you're trying, buddy! I don't know what errand is taking you to Twilight Town, but I hope it goes well. I'll be rooting for you. Fascinating! Well, good to know. I don't think we will head to Twilight Town just yet. I want to do some other stuff first. By other stuff, um, how about we go get some badges? Can I get in the bucket? Hi. Woo! <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go ahead and buy the first attack. Oh wait! It oh it needs zero BP to wear. That's extremely helpful. <laughs> um. Do any uh does anything else require zero BP? No. Okay. Um. Let's see. Let's focus. Let's let's buy the stuff that we don't have one of yet. Just as like a hey, let's get a baseline of items and equipment and stuff, you know? All right, I'm pretty sure you cook for me, right? Oh, so it's you again, huh, Mr. Stomp a lot. Well, my name is Zesty. I may not look like a chef, but I'm actually quite good. If you bring me ingredients, my cooking skills burst to life and culinary magic happens. Want me to whip something up for you right now? Sure. Okay, I'll cook up your mushroom. Wait a second while I flex my culinary muscles.
Nice. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm not sh entirely sure you'll like this, but go on. Take it, Stompy. Mushroom fry. Very cool. Um, turtley leaf. Make me some tea. All right, I don't need to see this again. Seven FP, very nice. Um, <laughs> I can give the in coupon. <laughs> Incredible. Um, okay. So. Aha. Yes. So they. Oh my gosh. There are fifty-eight recipes. Holy moly. Let's, um, let's not. Okay. Oh, hi. Hi, guess. I'm Jerry. I'm a bob -omb from Plump Belly Village. Nice meeting you. Sorry I sound so down, but you, you would be too if you'd seen Luigi's big bridal stunt show. He's so clumsy in heels. He was like a wobbly force in nature, falling down everywhere, knocking things over, tumbling into people. Now I have an obligation to tag along and clear the area if Luigi so much as glances at a stiletto. Somebody has to be the herald of the coming, coming wobble apocalypse. That's why I'm sticking close to this guy. Oh my gosh. Well, I got my second piece of the marvelous compass at Plump Bailey Village recently. Oh boy, I really got my hands dirty on that one, I'll tell you what. It was pretty wild, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a long story. I suppose. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. Once we made landfall on the Strudel continent, we made for Plump Belly, Vi Plump Belly Village. Once we got there, though, we immediately noticed that something was wrong. We learned that the mayor that the, uh, that the town was ruled by a giant snake we, we learned from the mayor that the town was ruled by a giant snake named Hiza. He said the beast demanded he offer up his own daughter as a sacrifice too. So of course, being heroic, I offered myself up to go in her stead. Brave, huh? But now the custom was for sacrifices to be dressed as brides. So I got all dolled up. I was one hot sacrifice, bro. I looked so good, I fooled our foes and got in Hiza's lair. It was kind of rough fighting in that gown, but I managed. Uh, Chiffon, really chafe. Uh, chiffon? Chiffon? I don't know. Really chafes, bro. I don't know. I don't, I don't understand. Oh, uh, I don't understand words. Uh, <laughs> I finally found Hiza, and the snake had a second head on its tail. Talk about scary. I fainted real quick, but when I came to, I managed to distract both heads. It reared up, fangs bared to attack, and at that moment, I deftly lunged left. His gaping mouths smashed into one another, and he vanished in a cloud of smoke. A shining plate fell down on the spot where Hiza's body had been coiled. Yes, another compass piece. I set it and, point and it pointed east, to Circuit Break Island. Just as I was about to leave town, the mayor asked me to stay and marry his daughter. I thought about it, she was sorta cute, but we ended up sneaking off the next morning. I mean, I still have to save Princess Eclair from the, ch from the Chestnut King. And when the Marvelous Compass activated this time, I heard somebody's voice. It was so beautiful, bro. I'm certain it was Princess Eclair's voice. My heart began to race. That's when I realized it. Princess Eclair, I think I... Oh! I kinda zoned out there, um, so yeah, we set sail again after ditching town, and somehow we managed to get back here to Rogueport, and here I am! R right, yes. Wanna hear about something else? Not really. Okay, so, we're going down here, I'm not going to Twilight Town. I am going down here. 
Because I gotta go back to Petalburg. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Oh, and you are going to make me a pipe to Glitzville, which it's not that far. Also, I don't know why I went this way. There's a, there's literally a pipe directly to the main square. I could have just gone there. I want to jump into the pipe. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so this is one of the bulb dudes, right? Hold on. Ooh, what? What's the context? Ah. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, is it you? Sorry, I got distracted by messages. Hey! Are, are you... It must be the other guy over here, right? You still playing? I've been playing Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door a lot lately. I wasn't sure at first, but that game is awesome! I just beat it every chapter! Totally cool ending, I loved it. So with the money! Think there will be a sequel? If not, I hope they make a Paper Luigi game. Yeah, I bet that'd be awesome too. Well... Uh, I shouldn't tell him. It would just break his heart. Hello and good day to you! I am Bulb... Uh, Bub Bulber. I don't know. Uh, you came here after uh, hearing of my request, correct? Oh, I'm so happy. I would like to ask you to bring me a hot dog. Yes, a hot dog is what I desire. It is said to be spicy, but I've never experienced spiciness in, my, in all my life. Some say they are sold in Glitzville. Please get one for me if you can. You mean like this? It's a few days old. Oh, so this is a hot dog. I'm going to go at, right ahead and try it. Oh, 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 hot, 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 hot. So this is spicy. Well, this spiciness is, is quite interesting. It makes me crave more of it. I'm terribly sorry, but could you get me one more hot dog, please? I must have one. I would appreciate it. Give me a second. I think... I think I might be in luck. I think I might have put one into storage. I really hope I have. No, I'm not I'm not here to store. I'm here to pick up. Um yes, oh my gosh, I do. <laughs> Freaking fantastic. I'm also going to take out a fire flower uh, and a honey syrup. Um cuz I would like to cook those when I get back to Rogueport. Yes. Yes, I did. Here you go. Oh, I'm so happy to be able to eat another hot dog. I've dreamed of this. I should devour it immediately. Oh, oh, hot, hot, hot. Spicy, spicy hotness. No, this, this is spicy. Oh my, that was positively delicious. Good gracious, I'm sweating with pleasure. I'm rather surprised that it was spicy rather than just spicy. By the way, I know this is rather rude, but I'd love to chase, uh, chase that with a sweet. Sweets are the spice of life. That's my new theory I've just now coined. Could you maybe cook me cook some cake mix, please? I really want a piece of moose cake. Are you serious? Where do I get cake mix?
Where do I, where in the world do I get cake mix from? It's clearly not here. Oh, good golly, gophers. Okay, well. It's gotta be somewhere. Uh, oh gosh, was it in... I know, I know I've seen it in a shop somewhere before. I have no idea where, though. I might as well go check the um, the grand the the great tree. Just on the off chance it is here. Like I don't want to go into Rogueport, find out it's not there, and then have to come back here. So, um, oh gosh, what was the way to? <laughs> it hasn't really even been that long, and I've already forgotten how the frick I get back to the secret um, store place. I think it's... is it this way? Oh gosh, where, oh where? No! Really? I also didn't freaking equip that thing. All right, duh, I'm stupid. Ha ha. All right, give me a second to, I'm just gonna skip ahead to when I find the shop. Yes, okay, perfect, it's, it's right down here, okay. Good, 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 good. I have no idea if it's here, but I, I kind of just want to check if there's anything. HP drain, ice storm. Um, no, okay. Well, that sucks. I will be back <laughs> eventually. <laughs> I don't remember where I saw a cake mix. I know I did. I just don't remember where. Cake mix can be. Oh. That's where I saw it. The Pianta Parlor. Well, how about that? I'd like to train by trade train my winnings. Yes, please. So, I'm just gonna buy like three of these. I'm not, I'm not gonna make them right away. I'm just gonna make one. Um, I'm gonna make one for the quest. I th honestly, I think there's another trouble in relation to cake mix. Uh, if I remember seeing that correctly. All right. So let's go ahead. Go ahead and make the cake mix in the moose cake. Ooh, very nice. No, thanks. I'm good right now. I don't know when I'll get in the, gain the ability to make a double. Also, uh, what do you got right now? Mega Rush? Um, what's the... Okay. I mean, I'm, I might as well buy them. I don't know if I'll ever use Double Pain. <laughs> Feels like that's that. Um, yeah, I, I got you. I got you. All right. All right. I will be right back. 
I want to go drop off this cake. Hey, buddy. I got you your freaking cake. I went all across the world for this. Oh, moose cake. I can't wait to eat it, so I won't. Lunch. Oh, sweet. Good gracious, I am quite satisfied now, but I feel like I've been demanding. Maybe I just wanted to be spoiled by others. Maybe I was so selfish because, well, because it's such a peaceful place. I crave peace, love, and food. I'm sure that's it. Anyway, let me show you my gratitude. Oh, the dried bouquet. Okay. I've been growing these dried bouquets lately. If you want more, just bring me another hot dog. You'll always be welcome here. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm gonna assume that I can turn those into something. Um, but for now, that's gonna be it. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please let me know down in the comments below and maybe leave a like. And if you wanna catch the next episode as it comes out, go ahead and subscribe. But for now, that's it, so see ya.